Hi Cancer, this is Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do your weekly love reading for December 4th through December 10th. This is for the sun sign of Cancer. Now, uh, it may not resonate with you because it's for hundreds and thousands of people. It's not a private reading. Take what does and leave the rest. I will focus the camera incorrectly once I have the cards laid out and I have pre-shuffled this deck so when I am told to stop, I'm going to stop. And it's going to be right now. Look at that. The universe helped me with that one. I have to move this down just a little because if I don't, somebody will think my video is theirs. And I, if you find this video on somebody else's channel, please send me an email and I will report it to DCMA. So I appreciate that. Anyway, you're making progress this week, okay? It looks like you are making progress. You're heading in the right direction. You're acting on your hunches. There could be open lines of communication. Although, I mean, you're trying to communicate. I see that you are. You're trying to communicate. You're trying to get somewhere, but perhaps the person on the other end is not reciprocating, okay? Because I see that, you know, you're heading in the right direction. You're trying to make something work. You know, but it feels like the other person isn't with you. You know, they're not there. They're not doing their part. They're not offering you the love. They're not offering you the attention. Um, they're not letting go of the past, something like that. They have, per or they have just walked away mentally, you know, from the situation, or physically. Somebody has left a situation, okay, completely. Um, and now I, it feels like, Somebody's crying over it. Somebody that is watching this is really moping over their loss. Um, feeling pretty cold, feeling with, pretty withdrawn. Um, not being the master of their emotions this week. I'm not sure, sure who that's for. Um, but in the end, you're making progress. So I, I know that's hard to understand. But sometimes you go through hardships to learn something. Something big usually happens and it changes the person, you know. I feel like what has ever, whatever has happened, that happened pretty quickly. Whatever happened that, um, whatever happened, happened quick, out of the blue, okay. It happened out of the blue and it brought some chaos. It brought some disorder, um, some dis depression, anxiety. Uh, coldness, withdrawn, um, probably some heated arguments. There's definitely been some communication. Whatever happened, there's there's been something said and something done that happened very, very quickly, out of the blue. It's like somebody didn't even think they made a decision. Done. Done it. Okay? And that does allow you to make progress. It also allows you to show you need respect. I mean, I see self-respect here. So somebody has acted out of respect for themselves. They spoke the truth, did it quickly, and, you know, for many of you, a love could have ended, you know, a, a, a relationship, an affair, something like that. It appears that some, something has ended um, quite abruptly, okay? And, uh, now somebody's feeling really, really down, and that could be you, Cancer. It could be the other person, but I'm, I'm really thinking that it's you in this reading, that you've just decided you're going to withdraw. You're not looking for love. You're feeling pretty cold. Or, you know, I, there's a lot of confusion here, okay? There's a lot of confusion. There's a lot of thinking about the past and wishing things worked out and you know, sadness. I mean, there's a lot of sadness here and a lot of why. Why did this happen? 
Um, I feel like many of you have just lost your desire. It's like I, I, I can't fight anymore. I can't fight for this. I don't know what I'm going to do. Um, there's no... There's no need to keep going in this manner. You know, it's, there's a lot of uh, despair, depression, sadness here. Uh, not getting the love you desire. Not giving the love you that, you that somebody wants. I'm not sure it can go vice versa. Somebody is not feeling loved in your circle. And I really think it's you. I do. I do think it's time for you to get your life back on track. You're going to have to take the lead. You know, you're going to have to master your emotions. But this week, I don't think that you are. Uh, you know, you've come a long way. You have. But I think that um, you're still feeling pretty cold towards love. Okay? Towards true love. I think there's been a lot of hurt. There has been a lot of hurt. And you've just come to a point where it's like... <laughs> I just need to lay in my bed and not get up for a couple of days because I don't even know where this is going. I feel like there's a lot of sadness here. Somebody, I think there's been a breakup. I don't know who this is for. Somebody, there's been a breakup and somebody just can't get over it. You know, it's like, I, I can't believe this has happened. You know, I think, I thought this was the one. I thought this was my soulmate. And now there's a huge amount of depression and because it didn't work out. And I really think that you need to focus in another direction. You really do. You need to You need to um, let go of the past. Let it go. All right. There's no need to think that if for one thing, it doesn't matter what your neighbors think. It doesn't matter what society thinks. Okay. And I just have to throw that out there because I feel like many of you feel ashamed. You feel ashamed. It's nothing to be ashamed of. Things don't work out all the time for all kinds of people for all kinds of reasons. I mean, there could have been a third party situation that came to light. Okay? So despite all of this, despite this heartache, probably some, some cheating, I'm not sure. There's probably some cheating going on. Despite all this and the secret coming out, you are making progress. You're getting closer to the right one. So trust me, everything happens for a reason. The conflicts, the struggles, the chaos that you're going through, it all is happening for a reason. It is. It's happening because you need to master your emotions. You need to open up. You need to be willing to move forward. You know, you have lessons to learn. You need to let go and not look back. This is let go and not look back towards the past. Move forward. You know, if you want to stay stuck in the past, then that's where you'll stay. Okay? Don't expect the universe to bring somebody in for you, you know, if you're still crying over the past. And I feel like there's a lot of codependency here. And many of you haven't really freed yourself from whoever it was from your past, from this person that has hurt you. You have not freed yourself from it quite yet. So don't, I mean, where I'm going with codependency, you can't just, I mean, you can, but it usually doesn't work out if you go right from one to the other. There's a need to heal. There's a period of time where you need to take a time out and you need to gather your senses and you, you need to gather your wits and you need to heal yourself before you go right from one to the other. Okay? That's what I see here. It feels like, you know, things happen so quick for you. You don't even have time to think. You know what I mean? Think before you act. I mean, I'm just telling you what I see. You really need to think before you act. Okay, because when you don't, you end up getting hurt. Things are things are just moving way too fast. I mean, you move too fast. You have to really, really think. And I think that you have so much love to offer and you're looking for that perfect person. You want it so bad that you're not being wise in the situation. I mean, there is a codependency thing here. You know, I, I want somebody and I want this person right now. Now, it's the now, 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 now. And that's what gets you into trouble. And I can say that because eights are now. Eight, eight, eight. 
now. You want it now. And when you get it now, it usually isn't the right thing. I have to tell you, there's somebody from your past that could be coming back into your life eventually. Somebody from the past could be coming back into your life, but you are having problems right now because you're not at peace. So if you really want this person to come, somebody, and, I, and you might not even know who it is, but they're, you know, you might. There's somebody from your past that wants to enter your life, okay? Now, the thing is, is you have to get your life back on track before this person is going to come in. Right now, things are a little chaotic. Things are a little... You're feeling a little cold. You might be feeling a little angry towards love. Feeling like, you know, you're not good enough. You may be feeling like you don't, you're not worthy. And if you have that mentality, then, you know, this person from the past is probably not going to find that very attractive. Okay? So I think that you probably have a choice between two people. Could be a water sign and a uh, air sign. But for some reason, I'm thinking... Hold on, let me get the rest. Yep, I was thinking earth signs. But we have all the signs here, okay? We have the Queen of Cups, the Queen of Swords, the Queen of Wands, and the King of Pen and the Knight of Pentacles. So we have all the signs here. So it could be any of the signs. But I feel like you really need to work on yourself during this week. Really. You really do. You need to work on yourself. You need to work on bringing your vibration back up. You need to work on feeling worthy. You need to nurture yourself. You need to look at things from a different perspective. You are making progress, whether you think so or not. You've been going through these struggles, going through this instability and this insecurity and these conflicts because you are headed towards something else. When you don't see it that way. It's like, oh my God, this is ridiculous. You know, that's what I see. It's that there's a lot of hurt here. There is a lot of insecurity, a lot of feeling I'm not worthy, I'm not good enough. You know, but that's not the case. You need to look at it from another perspective. And you need to love yourself first. You need to act out of love in every situation. If you are cold, all right, if you're cold towards a person or withdrawn or don't want to communicate, that's a red flag. And if you think anybody's going to stay with somebody who it doesn't communicate, it doesn't usually work out that way, okay? It feels like communication is highly, highly needed at this time, okay? Um, but don't push it. Don't push it. If you are overbearing, you know, if you are overbearing then or are too strong, that pushes people away too because I feel like in some cases, many of you could probably be, um, you want it so fast. You know, I see the now. Now, 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 now. You want it so fast that you may be too pushy and somebody may be like, whoa, 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 whoa. Slow down. Okay. So I feel like you really need to uh, think before you act. And that came up earlier. Think before you act. And if you act too quickly, you won't find the right one. And that's all there is to it. If you act out of haste, looking for the one, you will get hurt in the long run. All right? It's definitely time to get your life back on track. It really, really is. It's try time to bring peace. Peace. Peace of mind. Peace to your mind. You know, I feel like somebody has got their head down. Somebody who's watching this has their head down. And they're feeling like ashamed, sad, low. You know, why? Why feel that way? I see you need to look at something from a new perspective. You need to hold your head up high, love yourself for who you are, offer love to others with gentle ease. Don't push it. Don't push it. You're not a victim. Get rid of that victim mentality because this is victim mentality. Get rid of it. You're not a victim. Everything happens for a reason. What you do has an impact. And if you are trying to rush something, that ain't going to work. 
okay? If you are trying to <coughs> take something that doesn't belong to you, that's not going to work either. Okay, that's not going to bring you love in the long run. I feel like it is time for you to nurture yourself and slow down. Slow down, Cancer. If you're looking for somebody to come right now, then it's probably going to be the wrong one. Divine timing is at play. Okay, it is. A lot of a lot of insecurities here a lot of insecurities somebody who's watching this is very insecure about who they are somebody has put them down rejected them and now they're feeling very very down feeling uh, like they can't even get out of bed like they don't want to get out of bed that's like like they're not worthy they don't have any their self-esteem has been hurt their pride has been hurt because they've been rejected possibly cheated on I'm not sure you know, somebody is really feeling quite down in the dumps because of a loss. And the thing is, is it was rushed from the beginning. It was too rushed. So it's not like you guys had a chance to even become friends. This is the problem. Ah! I love you guys. I love my angel spirits and universe. I really do. Ooh, I'm just thanking them because, you know, that's what it is. That's, this is what it is. Okay. This is what it is. So that's all I can really say about that. Okay. Codependency. Addictions are affecting your romantic life. And there are hundreds and thousands of addictions. Sex. Drugs, alcohol, food, money, not being alone. That's the biggest codependency thing of all. I can't be alone. Therefore, you rush into anything with anybody. And you get hurt for doing that. Slow down. Going from one person to the other usually doesn't work out. Let go of control issues. Allow this situation to unfold naturally. Whatever is meant to be is meant to be. Believe it. Trust it. Whatever is meant to be, is meant to be. If it needs to go, let it go. You don't need somebody to complete you. You complete you. And when you can trust yourself to know that you, and respect yourself to know. I mean, it's about self-respect as well. When you can respect yourself to know that by you letting, me, letting go of the... <laughs> Letting go of the need to control. The right one is going to come in. You do have a right one. I know that you do. When the lover's card comes up in a reading, whether it's reversed or not, I could, you know, I, I do, I, these cards all mean so many things. You do have an ultimate partner. But right now you are in such a hurry. Due to codependency issues of not being alone. For many, many, many of you, I don't want to be alone. You are choosing the wrong one over and over and over and over again. It's a vicious cycle. Attraction. You, are, you attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully. By being at peace with who you are. When you are at peace with who you are, 
a hundred percent, the love of your life is going to come in. But you can't be crying about the past. You can't be feeling unworthy and your self-esteem can't be down in the dumps because when you feel unworthy, when you feel ashamed, when your self-esteem is down in the dumps, when you don't really love yourself, when you don't have peace in your heart, the universe can feel it and the people walking on the streets can feel it. So I suggest you start loving yourself pronto. And at the bottom of the deck, time apart from your partner is on the horizon, separation. You're going through a very hard time right now. The fact is, and I'm not a cancer and I have no cancer in my chart, I don't want to be alone. I don't want to be alone. This is Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot. This video should not be on anybody else's channel. I have one more card for you. Um, if you don't, if you if you're looking for somebody to say everything in the most pleasant, peaceful, beautiful tone all the time, then I'm not your girl. Kindness. Somebody else got this card too. Take respite by a pond and be kind to yourself and others. Be kind. I see there's coldness here. There's being withdrawn. There is. It's like somebody's being very cold. The hurt. There's a lot of hurt right here in this reading this week. Try this. Be kind to everybody. And the peace will start coming back. Once you, you need to bring peace back to your mind, back to your life, back to your soul. And once you do that, that's when all the love is going to come streaming in. Okay? Do unto others as you want done unto you. Okay? And I have to say this. I just have to. Don't go for somebody else's partner. It's not the right thing to do. If you're interested in somebody that is attached, the answer is no. That will never work out. It will bring you bad karma and a lot of hurt and sorrow. Talk to you later, Cancer.